Google has just announced the launch of Gemini, a multimodal AI model designed to power its chatbot Bard. Eli Collins, vice president of product at Google DeepMind, emphasized that Gemini comes in three sizes, Ultra, Pro, and Nano, making it versatile enough to run on various platforms, from mobile devices to large-scale data centers. Gemini Ultra, the most advanced version, has outperformed 30 out of 32 academic benchmarks in large language model research and development. It is designed to be natively multimodal, meaning it can understand and process nuanced information, including text, images, audio, and code. What if I add this? The bird is swimming in the water. It has a long neck and beak. It is a duck. Yes. A duck is a type of waterfowl in the family Anatidae. Ducks are closely related to geese and swans. The duck appears to be blue. This is not a common color for ducks. However, there are some breeds of blue ducks. These are typically not as common as other duck breeds. It is more common for ducks to be brown, black or white. Are you sure? What the quack? I was just talking about a blue duck, and now you're holding one. It looks like blue ducks are more common than I thought. Would this float? I'm not sure what material it's made of, but it looks like it might be rubber or plastic. What if I tell you it's making a squeaking sound? Oh, if it's squeaking, it's definitely going to float. Hmm, nice. It is a rubber duck. It is made of a material that is less dense than water. Gemini Pro, a specifically tuned version, has been integrated into Google's chatbot bar. This upgrade brings more advanced reasoning, planning, understanding, and other capabilities to Bard, making it the most significant. Gemini's integration into Bard is just the beginning. Google plans to incorporate this AI model into other products, including search and adverts. See how tease the launch of Bard Advanced next year, promising a model designed for highly complex tasks. Google CEO, Sundar Pichai, outlined the company's commitment to advancing AI responsibly. In a blog post, he stated that Google is pursuing ambitious research while building safeguards and collaborating with governments and experts to address potential risks. Reasons we got interested in AI from the very beginning is that we always viewed our mission as a timeless mission. As Google strengthens its foothold in AI, the competition is heating up. But what does this mean for ChatGPT? Gemini has scored an impressive 90% on the MMLU test, surpassing human experts, 89.8%, and even outperforming GPT-4, 86.4%, in various tasks across 57 subjects, including math, physics, history, law, medicine, and ethics. Gemini Nano is already available to developers, Gemini Pro will be accessible to enterprise and Vertex AI customers and developers in AI Studio from December 13th. Meanwhile, Gemini Ultra is set to roll out in 2024. Gemini's exceptional performance raises questions about its potential impact on existing models like ChatGPT. With its impressive scores and multimodal capabilities, could Gemini pose a threat to ChatGPT's dominance? As we eagerly anticipate the future developments of Gemini and its integration into various Google products, the AI landscape is evolving rapidly. Will Gemini be the game changer that Google claims it to be, or will ChatGPT continue to hold its ground? Share your thoughts in the comments below. That wraps up today's video on Gemini and its potential to disrupt the AI space. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and share this video. Stay tuned for more updates, and until next time, keep exploring the exciting world of artificial intelligence.